Hey everybody, it's Angela and I'm back with another process video. And this is going to be of some of our garden produce that we grew, not this year, but last year. Uh, this year we grew wheat, last year we worked on row crops. Uh, we're working some land that's been pasture land for living memory. And so we weren't sure exactly what was gonna grow the best in there, so we did some test crops and the corn and beans and squash did not do very well at all, at least with the water that we had available. But all of our root crops did really well. And uh, here's a picture of some of the root crops that we found or that we grew. And um, so we had carrots and onions and a huge bunch of potatoes, but I'm gonna do another layout on that with a different picture. So I just wanted to do this one and I'm thinking of using that orange paper as my background. And then I have this piece of Chamel paper that I want to map my photo with because I don't necessarily like this piece of paper. I'm not in love with it. Uh, but I like that it does have cream and white on the same piece of paper because sometimes that's hard to find. And so I go ahead and mat it on that. And I pull out a bunch of stuff. I've got the basic gray herbs and honey uh, cut apart sheet and the cut apart book and um, quite a bit of that collection actually. So that's what these are from. And then that is from, uh, oh, I'm pulling out a whole bunch, Farm Girl right there. And those are the little seed packet uh, things. And I also have, let's see, Farm Girl, herbs and honey, and the, what's the Studio Calico? Like Market, Market Day? South of Market? I'm not sure. Um, but here is uh, a bunch more labels and I'm just trying to find ones that have like onions and carrots and stuff that are in the picture, but I'm not totally set with that. I don't mind if there's other vegetables and things on there. Cause I'm gonna talk about, you know, what did well and what didn't. And I just love the, picture I printed it on my Canon selfie and it reminds me kind of of a cornucopia um, just my hubby holding the vegetables there it's real colorful and you know out in the sunshine and so I just wanted to scrapbook it so here I'm pulling out a bunch of stuff that I want to layer I'm not sure which of it I'm going to use and which I'm not I believe this is the studio calico paper And I'm not sure if I use uh, those or not, but you'll see here. Oh yeah, I use the local fresh sweet on here. So some of these make it and some of them don't. Um, this is the uh, Jelly Bean Soup Vegetable Soup paper that also has seed packets on it. I had several that had seed packets, so that was kind of cool. And then I have the Farm Girl punch outs or die cuts and uh, the stickers as well. So I just take this bushel basket of vegetables, take some of the banner pieces, and I also take those carrots. So at this point I've got way more than I actually need, but um, yeah, like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to use and exactly what I'm going to do at this point. But with all that color on that orange sheet of paper, I kind of changed my mind and I don't want it quite that saturated. So I go into my stash and I find this one that's also a white and cream mixture. This is from the, this is from the Crate Paper Homespun Collection, the hearts. And so I go ahead and use this orange paper to double map my photo because I wanted the, I love that orange color because it really brought out the color of the carrots. So I'm going to use that and then just put everything on this lighter color background so that all the embellishments really pop. And at this point I decide to kind of line them up in a vertical column. This is something I've done uh, before that I just like the look of and it allows me to use quite a few of the embellishments. So I'm looking through, I want a mixture of the seed packets and then other little die cuts. 
So I'm kind of seeing what will work and what looks good. I'm going to put a few of these up on foam tape and then the rest of them I decide to actually sew down. So you'll see here once I kind of get them set up, I decide to just sew a vertical strip right down the middle of my page. So here I'm looking at putting these banners, kind of figuring out where I want them to be. And then I decide, well, maybe I'll just sew right down the middle. So I better move those banners to the middle where they'll get hit by the sewing machine. And I'm thinking to put the bushel basket and the carrots up on foam tape. So uh, I'm not going to put those on right now until after I've sewn it. And I'm just using a little tiny bit of adhesive kind of off to one side a little bit uh, so that I don't gum up my sewing machine. And then I kind of put these other ones just so I know they'll go over the center where that line of sewing is going to be. And I cover up some of the graphics, but you can still tell, you know, what they say and everything. So I'm going to put those three elements there. And then, like I said, those carrots are going to be up on foam tape, so I'm not going to adhere those at this time. So I'm kind of liking that. So I go off to my sewing machine and there you can see I use some gold thread just to sew right down the center of the paper. And I can kind of fluff those up now on the edges. And then my picture is going to be there. And then I'm going to put these up on foam tape. I'm also going to add um, just a tiny bit of foam tape behind these banners so that they continue to lift up off the page a little bit. So I'm just kind of sticking them behind there just to give a little extra dimension there and draw a little bit more attention to the sewing. And then I'm going to back these vegetables. Yeah, I'm looking forward to next year planting more root vegetables since they did work well. I'm going to try more in a different variety. Uh, I'll probably, you know, add turnips and parsnips, potatoes, beets, onions, garlic, carrots, radishes. Um, maybe not too many radishes. I don't know how well they'll root cellar, but the rest of those should root cellar pretty well. And I just... Um, stagger them in like milk crates with straw and um, stick them in the root cellar and they do pretty good I mean you have to keep a close eye on them and make sure nothing goes bad but you can have your you know root vegetables pretty much all winter long and then you know if we have a oh and see here I got <laughs> I got some of my I was peeling the backing off that foam adhesive and it caught in my coffee. Um, yeah, you can have stuff for soups and stews pretty much all winter long out of the garden. So that's why I do it. I can a lot of our other meat and stuff. So all I have to do is pull out a jar of meat and get some vegetables out and chop them up, throw them all in the soup pot. And, you know, I've got a nice dinner ready, make a loaf of bread or something, and hubby's really happy. And it's a lot less expensive too. So now I'm looking for even smaller bits. So I'm going through the sticker sheet the, from Farm Girl. And I've got this planted on and harvested on stickers that I want to put on there because I do want to talk about when we planted, when we harvested, and you know what did and didn't work. So this will be a record of that as well as, you know, just a pretty scrapbook page. And I have an album I've been putting all my farm type layouts in. So now I'm looking for some other dimension 
dimensional things. I've got some brads from the Herbs and Honey Basic Gray Collection that I'm not sure I'm going to use. Oh, and then I looked through my stash of, I've got some wood veneers there. I believe those are Studio Calico wood veneers. And then I've got this baggie of, I keep all my farm and food related items together. So these are all my little dimensional bits that I use in junk journals, food junk journals, or recipe boxes and things like that. So I didn't really have anything. It was mostly food cooking related and not gardening related. So I'm looking through here as well, hoping maybe I have like, you know, some carrots or something in these refrigerator magnets because I kind of use them like flare badges, but I didn't have anything in there that would work. But in the Studio Calico wood veneers, um, there are a couple good uh, words. There's harvest, fresh, and garden, I think, in there. But all the fonts were different on it, and I wish they would have... I like that cursive font. I wish they would have done them all like that, but that was just too many different fonts for me, and really I'm talking more about the harvest, or this picture is more about the harvest of them. So I go with just using that one kind of as my title. So now I'm trying to decide, am I going to leave it just the natural wood? But I decide to just ink it uh, brown to match the bushel basket and so it'll show up. And I try first the Distress Ink, but it just wasn't quite coming out dark enough. So I switched over to this Heidi Swap brown ink. And that gave me a nice uh, dark color that's going to match that bushel basket and kind of stand up against all those colorful embellishments. And I didn't have to get out my paints or anything. So now I'm trying to decide if I want it up there. But I kind of like it there uh, beneath my photo. So I put a little dot adhesive on it, then I decide to put a little glue to help hold it over um, those different layers. because it's got a span from the background paper to that uh, seed packet. So I've got the word harvest on there and then I'm looking to see if there's anything else and I think that some enamel dots. In retrospect, I could have maybe added some like twine or something around that bushel basket and tied a bow, that would be really cute. Um, but I already had it all stuck down. So I just went with the enamel dots instead. So I'm looking through for some orange and some of that kind of um, pea green color. And I'm kind of liking these Halloween ones I got on clearance last year. And they have both colors there. So I go ahead and I just kind of stagger them back and forth across the line of sewing. just to kind of follow that line and bring a little bit of color and texture along that axis. And then I look at it and I'm thinking, well, you know, it's a pretty clean layout, but that's okay. You know, I'm used to putting more sprinkles and things like that on it. Uh, but then I decide that, you know what, I, I like this clean and simple look. There's still a lot going on. You can see my gold stitching, the enamel dots, and then these banners kind of popped up on with foam tape, the wood veneer, and some of these other smaller little embellishments, seed packets. And so yeah, I really like this layout, even though it's, you know, a little bit cleaner than what I normally do. And then I'm going to do my journaling there on the right and get my dates. And you'll see that here when I do the still photo. Can see there I did my journaling and everything and yeah this is one for the uh, farming scrapbook so thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions or anything just leave me a comment below and I'll talk to you next time bye